Hi there, congratulations for spending just a few minutes of your time right now to find the five steps out, the five steps you need to put in place right now to ensure you can build a business that you can be proud of. So what I'm finding is most of the business owners I'm speaking to at the moment are maybe great at maybe two, three or four of these steps, but they haven't got them all nailed down. And the problem is that is stopping them getting their business to where they want it to be. So when I've looked at speaking, when I've spoken to successful business owners locally and nationally, what I've found is they've got all of these five steps in order and they're working the way through them one by one. And that's helping them create a successful business, whether that's creating more money, whether that's creating a better lifestyle for themselves, they're not spending as much time in the workplace, or maybe they've got a team that can actually pull in the right direction. If these five steps aren't in place, this won't happen, believe me. So what we've got to do now is focus on these five steps one by one, grab a pen and let's look at the ones that you need most help in right now. So number one is dreams. We all need dreams, right? So the dreams are personal dreams. They're not dreams of doubling the size of your business. We don't want to create a business that is actually going to create a headache for us in the future. So have a think about the dreams that you've got for your life. What do you actually want to achieve? What do you want your business to provide yourself? So if you're not really sure about that, if you're not clear on that, that's the number one first thing that you need to focus on. So I want you to grab a pen, score yourself out of 10 in terms of how clear your dreams are for what you're looking to achieve out of life. Now, the second thing is you need goals. So business goals. So obviously you've created your dreams. You know exactly what you want to get out of your business in terms of money and time and doing the things that you want to do but now you need goals. So create goals for your business, specific goals that are gonna help you achieve the dreams that you've set yourself. So if you haven't got goals, score yourself out a zero out of 10. If you're absolutely crystal clear on what your goals are, not just for the next 90 days, but for the next year, two, three years ahead, give yourself a 10. So now you've got the dreams and the goals. Now what you need to do is plan. How are you actually gonna achieve those goals? You need a plan, not just up there, you need it written down on a sheet of paper, on a spreadsheet, up on the wall, whatever you need to do. Because if you haven't got a plan in place, how are you going to know how to get to where you want to get to? How are you going to know how to achieve your goals? So that's the third thing. So we've got dreams, we've got goals, and we've got plans. So score yourself out of 10 on plans. Have you got a great plan? Is it very clear on the activities you need to actually put in place to achieve the goals that you want to hit? Score yourself out of 10 on that. Now we've got the dreams, the goals and the plan. We now need to maybe learn some things that we don't already know because we're looking at the plans and we're looking at the goals and thinking, right, OK, so I've put down a developer marketing plan or, or implement a LinkedIn marketing strategy or how to improve in sales. Um, and we don't necessarily know how to do that. We're not necessarily great at that already. So what we now need to do is learn how to achieve some of the things we've put into our plan. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. So if you're not spending your time learning at the moment how you can improve as a business owner, you maybe need to score yourself on the lower side of 10. Um, on the upper side will be if you're actually reading, listening to podcasts, surrounding yourself with people that are helping you, then maybe you're scoring up towards the higher, the higher level there. So now we've got the dreams, the goals, the plan, the learnings, and the final thing is the action. Because we all know that if we don't take action, we're not going to get anywhere, right? I know plenty of people that are, are far more intelligent than I am, far more intelligent than most business owners out there. And unfortunately, they're not successful because they're not taking action, which is the fifth point. So I want you now to have a look at your score out of 10 for each of those dreams, goals, learns, learnings, sorry, plans and action points and how great you are at taking action, should I say. And look at the one you're scoring lowest at. Now that's the one to attack first. So have a think about that. And um, this is only um, a small part of what I actually do with my clients on a regular basis to make sure they're working through things in the right order. So if you want to find out more, then click on the link, book in a call with me, and I'm going to help you create a business that you could be proud of. Thank you very much.